This video is about building rockets from a plan like this one right here. And when I come back, we'll go into the next step in the construction of this particular rocket. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. We're constructing the Vipox rocket, and at this point, we have glued the fins on and all of the glue fillets are dry. Uh, the nose is just kind of temporarily installed. It's not glued together yet. Uh, we don't want to glue it together until the very end so that we can put nose weight into it if we need to, to move the center of gravity forward. So just hold off on gluing the nose cone together. Uh, right now what I want to do in this step is to start putting on these external tubes. Now the reason I chose this rocket was for these external tubes because it gives the rocket a distinctive look and it's a little bit harder. So I wanted to do something that was a little bit harder. Um, so what we need to do is these tubes are attached right here, but they go right on top of the fin. So we need to cut them. We need to cut one side and then cut a slot into the other side like this one right here. And then when these are installed, they'll go just like this and then they're glued in there like that. Okay, to start this process, we need to mark the tube. Um, and for that, again, I'm gonna use this Estes tube marking jig. And if you look at it, it's got a straight line down one side or this way. It doesn't matter, we'll just use one of them. And we wanna mark both sides of the tube. And then we need to create another line right next to it that's as thick as the fin. So if I put that on the fin and I mark it right here, now I know that the fin will be, or that slot that we're going to cut is going to be exactly the same. So I'm going to put it back on the jig, line up that tick mark that I just made, turn it around. Oops, okay, so that one I already marked. So then I have to spin this one here on this side. and mark it here. Okay. Now I need to draw lines down the tube, and again, we're gonna use the aluminum angle. Uh, but because these tubes are so small and hard to handle, um, and they can be squishy, I'm gonna stick a burnt out rocket motor. And this is a 24 millimeter motor. And I'll stick it inside. Now I, it's, I know it's gonna be uh, completely circular and it's not gonna move on me. And then I'm just going to mark this tube on all four of those points. Okay, so on one side, I'm going to cut on both of the lines to make that complete slot. And then on the other side, I need to only extend the slot to a certain length. Now, how long should that length be? Well, when I first did it, my first attempt, I laid the tube next to the fin and just kind of marked it where the fin came out, like right there. Well, that was this one here. And what happened was when I put it on, and I lined up the back edge right here, my slot was too long. So then I take, took my pencil and I just marked it here on the outside of the tube where it should have been. And so that's how I got this one right here. Um, so if you're building this one from a plan, um, it's at exactly one half inch. So, on this one here, I'll just mark it one half inch. But that's the way you're gonna to have to do it, is just kind of trial and error. This is a little bit, one of the trickier steps. So that's where I'm gonna cut, and I'll make that cut first. And for that cut, um, I'll just slide it off the tube here, and then just cut it like I would for an engine hook. 
just go across and then we'll start cutting these. Now these are a little bit harder to hold because they're so short and when I cut these I don't want to cut all the way through because I want to make all the lines first because once I make all those lines and I cut through one time then this tube is not going to stick onto my rocket motor. Be careful when you do this that nothing moves because um, if this rolls out you could slice your finger so be very careful on this cut. Okay now I'm going to go all the way through and I am all the way through and on this next cut next to it I'm going to work slowly and just drag it across And did it come out? No. If it doesn't come out all the way, just bend it over and then just run your knife along it and it will pop right out. Okay, and then we'll do the next one over here. Okay, and then you can test fit it onto your rocket. All right, that looks pretty good. Now I can glue it now at this point, which is, you know, just put some glue around that edge. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the rocket first. And the reason is, is once this rocket is assembled, I'm not going to be able to spray spray paint on the inside of that tube to get to the inside of the fin. So I'm going to spray all these components separately. And then once they're all painted, then I'll put these on and then I'll attach it from the inside. So I'll just run the glue. I'll use super glue because it's kind of invisible. You just use a little bit and then just wick it in there and you'll see that step. Um, so uh, I'm gonna go outside now and paint the rocket. I'm gonna use uh, a primer coat first and then I'm gonna use white paint because this is a white rocket. Um, we have videos on painting here at Apogee Components, um, so I'm not going to show you my painting steps, so I, I'll just refer you to those other videos. If you're on the Apogee Components website, I'll have a link below the video. If you're on YouTube, I'll put it in the description of this video. So my name again is Tim Van Milligan. You're watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light, and may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.